so help me God. As we enter another era in the life of our nation, the resilience of our democracy has once more been tested and the people have spoken loudly that they choose peace and democracy over conflict, violence, undemocratic and unconstitutional methods. In their multitudes, in their voices that are many and diverse, the people of South Africa have voted and have made known their wishes, their concerns and their aspirations. We accept and respect the results of the elections and once again we say, yes, the people of South Africa have spoken and we accept. Their will shall be done without any doubt or any question. The voters of South Africa did not give any single political party the full mandate to govern our country alone. They have directed us to work together to address their pride and realize their aspirations. They have expressed their appreciation of the progress in many areas of their lives over the past 30 years of democracy. They have also been unequivocal in expressing their disappointment and disapproval of our performance in some of the areas in which we have failed. They want to transform a growing and inclusive economy that creates jobs for millions of job seekers and offer business opportunities to entrepreneurs in our nation the people have been clear about what they want. They want a South Africa in which all may find shelter in our democratic constitution and may find protection in our courts. They have described a country in which all may rise above the circumstances of their birth, nurtured by loving families, aided by a caring state, and empowered by initiative, will, and hard work. Through their votes, they have made clear that they want the basic necessities of a life that is comfortable, happy, healthy, and secure. Through their votes, they are certain that they want enough food to eat, water that is clean, affordable electricity that is available at all times. They want decent homes that keep out the wind, the rain, and the cold. They want well-maintained roads, street lights that work. The people of South Africa have asked to be properly cared for when they are sick. They want the young people of our country to be taught well, for the elderly to be cared for, and for those without work to work. The people of South Africa have spoken about the land they want to farm, about the businesses they want to run, about the things and products they want to make, about the skills they want to learn. They have spoken of their desire to be safe in their homes, on the streets, in their cities, in their villages, and on their farms. The people have demanded an end to the theft of public funds and the capture of the state. Above all, the people of South Africa have stressed that they are impatient with political bickery and the endless blame game amongst politicians and political parties. They want us to put their needs and aspirations first and they want us to work together for the sake of our country. Today, I stand before you as your humble servant to say that we have heard you. As the President of the Republic of South Africa, I will work with everyone to reach out and work with every political party and sector that is willing to contribute to finding solutions to the challenges our country faces as we transition to a new decade of freedom. 
through the ballots that they have cast. The people of South Africa have made plain their expectation that the leaders of our country should work together. They have directed their representatives to put aside animosity and dissent, to abandon narrow interests, and to pursue together only that which benefits the nation. As leaders, as political parties, we are called upon to work in partnership towards a growing economy, better jobs, safer communities, and a government that works for all the people of South Africa. From across the political spectrum, parties have answered this call. Understanding that no party can govern alone and make laws alone. These parties have agreed to work in partnership to employ their talents for the good of the country and the progress of the people of South Africa. Together they have resolved to establish a government of national unity to pursue a common program of fundamental and lasting change. The formation of a government of national unity is a moment of profound significance. It is the beginning of a new era. As South Africans, we must each do what we can to achieve this mission wherever we are. Now is the time to assemble all our capabilities and to direct all our energies to answer the call of the people of South Africa. We do this for the sake of this generation and those that will follow. We will build a government that is capable and honest. Together we will work to promote multilateralism for a fairer and more just and more equal compassionate world. Today I make a solemn commitment to be a president for all South Africans, not of some South Africans. <laughs> to defend our constitution and to protect our democracy. To work with all those who share the dream of a better life for all. To care for the poor, the vulnerable, and to support all those who are in need, and to make our country stronger, more resilient, more equal, and more <coughs> united. On this day, our hands are joined together. We are united as South Africans. We are full of hope. Let us carry this hope to permeate throughout our nation so that everyone can join hands to build the South Africa of our dreams. God bless South Africa and protect its people. Africa. God Africa. Africa Congratulations.